Hi, Hiram here. <clears throat> Yesterday I did a test on this XTS pot from Ollie Camp that I got at my local Army Navy store. I did a boil test with this on a Trangia, the open spirit stove. This one. And since then I got a couple of, well I got some comments and I got some emails asking me if this would work with anything else besides the Trangia or the cartridge stove that it's really kind of made for. It's made to go on these, you know, these type. I don't like these too much, they're a bit noisy for me. But anyway, um, had questions on that, so I thought I'd play around with it today. One thought I had was this Super Venom stove. This will fit on here pretty nicely underneath. Uh, I was asked if side burners would work with this, but the one problem that I think a side burner might have is this has this plate on the bottom, so whatever flames you want to use to heat this up has to come up kind of in the middle and then go across and hit the fins. So it'll set on this pretty good, and it's small enough that there's still room for the flames to go up and out through the fins. Uh, another one that I might be able to use, maybe this uh, isothermic, or I forget the name, by Flat Cat Gear. That would fit up underneath there. Another one that might work would be something like this wick stove that I got. I did some tests on this before. I think it's called a black bug or something like that. A little standoff wick like that. It would fit on there that the flames are going up the middle and then coming out through the fins. But what I'm going to try, my first guess here, or first try rather, is this Super Venom stove. I've got alcohol in here and stuff, but let me go get my water prepped, and I'll be right back to start the test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. I've got one fluid of ounce of methanol in this. Let me light it. Okay, there's the flames. Now let me put this on. Try to get it in the center. Okay, flames are still going. That's two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're at the three minute mark and the temperature is up to 102 degrees. I think you can see that the flames are going up through that center hole. And it is coming out through the sides. Um, it's just barely fitting in there. The thing when I ran with the Trangia yesterday, the flames pretty much all went up the center instead of being setting on the uh, stove. It's causing a big circle there where there isn't any flames on the bottom of the pot. So we'll see what happens with this. Okay, the flames are just about ready to go out on this. It's just barely hanging in there. So let's call it at 11, let's say 11, still going. Let's say 11.10 at 184 degrees. Okay, so this wasn't a good choice. Mainly because of this large diameter in the uh, center of the stove where there's no flames. Let me just show you what I mean here. There's this large diameter where there's no flames. The flames on this one are all on the outside edge. So we've got this whole area where it's not actually hitting the bottom of the pot. Let me show you on this jet boil. What you want to do, what it to do is the flames have to come up in here and then go across. By using this on it, there's a whole big circle here where there's no flames hitting. So, I thought that might work, but I guess not. Something like this might work better. The flames come up through this center hole, 
So they come up, hit the bottom, the center bottom of the pot, and then spread out from there. So maybe a burner of this type might work better even. But anyway, so that's the Super Venom stove. This works good on wider pots, say something like this, where the flames will still be hitting on the bottom of the pot. But in this case, it just didn't work on the fins. So I hope that helps the people that asked for that. Um, sorry, it didn't work. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.